Hello and welcome to Webdom Mentors YouTube channel and you are watching programming in Java series for beginners. So in this video we are going to see about logical operators in Java. Logical operators have three operators. They are logical and operator, logical or operator and logical not operator. Logical and operator checks if both the conditions are true. So it will check if the left condition is true only then it will go on to the right condition. So if the left condition is false then it won't go to the right condition and just give you the value as false. Logical OR operator will check at least one of the conditions are true. So if left condition is false, it will still go on to check the right condition. So if one of the conditions are true, then it will return true as its value. Logical NOT operator is used to reverse the state of the Boolean value. So if you're having a Boolean value and you're given true as its value, then this NOT operator will reverse the state of that boolean value and convert it to false. So NOT operator will be very useful if you want to check some condition but you want the reverse of that condition. So let's see the actual implementation of these three operators in the program. So I'm going to create a class named as logical operators. So the class file is created. I'm going to create the main method, public static void main string of. Now I'm going to declare two variables, int a is equal to 10 and int b is equal to 20. So we are going to use these two variables to check for the conditions along with the operators and logical operators. So if you have seen the video which includes the relational operators then it would be more sensible. So we're going to use some of the relational operators in this program as well. So first I'm going to check for the logical AND operator AND operator which is two ANDs sorry so we're going to get boolean as value for these operators. So I'm going to declare boolean value and logical and. So I'm going to check if a is equal to b and a is greater than b. So I'm going to check for a is equal to b and a is greater than b. So only if both these conditions are true, I'll be getting the value as true. So the next is logical R operator. It's two pipeline symbols and I'm going to get the boolean declaration again logical R. So A less than or equal to B R. So let's first actually give some value that is false first and a less than b. So we're going to check for these two values. So in R, logical R, at least one of these conditions is true, then it's going to give you the true as its value. So the final is the logical not operator. Which is the exclamation mark. So I'm going to get the boolean value logical not I'm going to check if a is less than b so a is less than b so it's true so I'm going to get true for this but I'm going to convert it as false by giving not which is exclamation mark before this so you cannot just give that without the bracket because not a will not be working for you so it will give you errors it is better to use all those variables inside a bracket create a condition and then make it into a reversal. So we're going to print out all these values system.out.println and I'm just going to copy it, paste it for three times. Now first thing is logical and operator and the value is logical and seems like I made a mistake in the spelling logical R operator and I'm going to go with 
logical R. And finally, logical not operator. So it's logical not. So I'm going to print it out simply without actually touching any of these values. So it's false because of the reason that A equal to equal to B is false. So it's directly going to give you false. So logical R operator, the value is true. That is because of the reason even though A equal to equal to B is false, it still goes to check A less than B. So it's going to give you true for that value and that is what you got as a value. And logical not is going to reverse the value. So A less than B is actually true. So it's going to reverse the value and get it as false. So that's the reason. And we can actually check something else. A less than B. And it's true for the first moment. And I'm going to compare the value now. It's still giving you false because the first condition is true. But for logical and both the conditions has to be true. So A greater than B is false. So that's going to give you false as the answer. So in order to actually make it work finer, we have to change it to a less than r equals to. And now I'll be getting true as the answer as both these conditions are satisfying the true value. So once both the conditions gives you true, this will give you true as the value. So this is how you use the logical operators in Java and it can be used effectively inside the if condition statements. So the conditional statements is where the logical operators are mostly used. You can also use it outside in order to derive Boolean values in an immediate circumstances. So that is the end of the video. Thank you for watching this video and hope this was useful. If you like this video, please hit the like button and also share it with your friends. And if you have any comments or suggestions or feedbacks, please feel free to share it at the comment section of this video or on our Facebook page, Google Plus page or in the Twitter feed. You can also contact me personally through my social links that is in the description section of this video and subscribe to the channel if you have not done it already. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.